Oh, right. Hello, everybody. We are playing on the Philippine server. It's been a while. It's been a while since I played on the Philippine server, but I'm here. You guys may be wondering why haven't I been playing on the Philippines much lately. Um, so actually my ping on the Philippines is exactly the same as my ping on Vietnam server. The thing is, is the queue times in Philippines have been really high lately. I, I feel like a lot of people in the Philippines have been like playing like Mobile Legends Bang Bang or whatever. But we should be seeing some more Philippines type gameplay when Wild Rift comes out. That's, that sounds like fun. But anyway, okay, I'm not going to bore you with the specifics of what server I'm playing. I just wanted to answer those questions for all my Philippines fans out there. Let's get into a game where we discuss how we're going to use Teleport Master Yi in Diamond 2 on the Philippines server. So yes, this is Diamond 2. Am I uploading this to YouTube? If I win. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get into it here. Lulu is a solid support to have. We're just going to look at my team comp here and explain what I'm looking for in a team comp. Because I know that's something a lot of you guys fail to really think about is uh, when should I dodge a game or how do I know if a game's looking good, right? So let's start with Kled. So Kled is a solid engage. Uh, he's a tank, right? He does pretty good damage. All around, he's really good for Yi because you need somebody to go into the fights and help you soak up damage, right? So Kled is... Crap, I didn't use my E. <laughs> so Kled is a very good pick for your team. So that's already good. The enemy team has Garen. Uh, you can usually just right-click Garen. Not a big deal. Do I like Garen on my team? No, not really. He's not really the kind of engage I want. I want an engage that has CC. So, yeah, we, we definitely lucked out on our top laner here. I'm happy with Kleb. Akali versus Talon. I hate AD mids. So the problem with an AD mid is that... Well, I guess I would prefer the not AFK guy. Right? I guess I'd prefer the not AFK guy. But... The problem with AD mids is that they make the enemy buy tabbies and zanyas, right? And that's just no, that's no good. That's, that's uh, no fun, right? It's no fun uh, playing into tabbies or zanyas. But we have a Kali and the Kali does magic damage, which I really like because now they're not buying tabbies and zanyas, though they might still buy zanyas, but. Okay, yo, you could really come back any day now, sir. Any day now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> God. This a Akali. Now he's back, guys. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, let's continue talking about our picks. Varus versus Aphelios. 80 carries don't really matter for ye. You typically want to get an 80 carry that can do damage, right? So I don't like uh, straight up steroid ADs like Tristana because she's either hit or miss, right? If they build armor and tabby, she does nothing. So you prefer things like Kai'Sa, Vayne, anything that like has hard carry potential. But mostly you don't care because AD carries do nothing except soak up damage. Support, Janna versus Lulu. I think Lulu is actually a really solid pickup as well. Um, Janna would be fine. I don't really mind. Look at this. Holy cow. <laughs> I thought I might need a reset on that. I guess not. Alright, well played. I, I'm not sure if I would say that was well played, but sure. Sure. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, grab this, and then we're going to go grab our red smite. And uh, we'll probably get a boots and dagger. So the reason why we want to get boots is because boots technically increase your... Wait, how? Okay. So boots technically increase your clear speed a little bit because you move faster from camp to camp, right? So I, I don't really mind getting boots as a secondary item. Also, it gives you more move speed when you're porting. Okay, well, her flash is gone now. That's okay. We might actually go for that dragon if we go here. Yeah, anyway, I hope that introduction to the picks wasn't too long. The TLDR is on your team you want engage and you want AP wave clear. Okay, so we're missing wave clear, but we have AP and we have engage. So we're happy about that. Now you can make up for the top lane engage by having like a Braum or Leona support, right? But we don't. But we do have engage on Kled anyway, so it doesn't matter. Mm. Bot lane's backing. This is a good time to contest a dragon. Yeah, we could go for this. Yeah, now, now they're missing mid lane, so we can easily go for this dragon. And Janna went back bot lane. 
Yeah, anytime I could get nice early dragons like this, I'm happy. I love getting dragon leads. Like, dragon leads pretty much determine how your game is going to go, right? So anytime I could get a dragon lead, it's great. So let's go ahead and uh, get this clear going. Uh, we won Bloodraiser by 8 minutes. Now, we're about 200 gold short of Bloodraiser, assuming we didn't buy boots. So we're on track. We're doing pretty good. Uh-oh, what's going on? Shit. Bro. Shoot. Damn, that was even what the meditate reset. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, mute the guys. Mute them. Don't get tilted. I don't know why he's saying sorry. He literally used flash, heal, and R. So, um, don't think negatively about those kind of situations because let me explain what's going to happen here. We're, we're waiting for our blood razor anyway. What's going to happen here is that in about two minutes, you're going to see him die. And the reason why you're going to see him die is because he wasted his summoner spells on me. And he thinks he got a lead there. He thinks he did something good there. When in fact, that's going to bite him in the ass and lose him lane. Did he just alt the... Hmm. Alright. That was easy. Now we gotta go... Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me. Alright, now we're gonna go take this dragon and hope Garen doesn't kill us. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna be frank. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what they're doing. What is this? Alright, but anyway, you guys may have noticed there that I did use my Meditate at level 2 instead of getting another point in E because I knew at that point that Meditate would help me a lot more than E. So, and as you can see, it got me the kill. It was worth it. Alright, let's get the Rift Herald. As I mentioned, once you get to Gunsu's Rage Blade, there's no reason not to do the Rift Herald because you have a few advantages here. One advantage is that you kill it really fast with Gunsu's, and the second advantage is that you can pre stack your Gunsu's before a player comes. So you can always turn on them really easily. Never use your E when doing the Rift. Unless, of course, you want to rush it, right? Because you notice I'm not using my E. I don't need to. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer, but if somebody comes and jumps me, I want to be able to have my E up to turn the fight. If you don't have E, you're going to lose. E is actually, like, really important in PvP. Not so important in against monsters. Now, do we want to port on this? That is the question. So just think very carefully about whether or not you want to port on this. I'm thinking. My team's winning anyway. By the time I get there, the enemy's going to run. So I don't think I want to port. We're just going to wait. Now the thing I love about Rift on Master Yi is when you pop a Rift in a lane, you're basically forcing the enemy team to come deal with you. Which means that if you're ahead, you're forcing fights that they normally wouldn't fight you for. I wish I had full stack Gunzus. Ooh. Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. We're not going to talk about that, guys. We're not going to talk about that. Alright, Kled, Kled decided to try to be a hero there. I I can't say no to that. Thanks, Kled. I mean, he might get away. 
He's running to Lulu. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get away. <laughs> Alright, not bad. So what are we gonna buy as our next item here? So this is where a lot of people really struggle. They don't know. Blade ringing, what's in, blah 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 blah. So really, in a case like this, they have one source of magic damage, a bunch of lethality. So when you're against lethality, you typically want to buy tabbies. Like if you're going for like a really serious game that you'd really want to win, you'd buy tabbies. Um, I'm pretty sure I win this anyway. Don't tell the enemy team, right? So I'm just going to go Blade of Ring King. And uh, Blade of Ring King is typically a purchase I'll get when I want to do damage. Like Blade of Ring King is just the best item to do damage against squishies or against tanks. It doesn't matter. You do a lot of damage either way. Holding on the TP. Still holding on the TP. Not feeling too confident about that, but okay. Oh, I do I even want to know what just happened there? Okay, a Kali's legendary. See, this is why you don't pick ADs. <laughs> this is why you don't pick mid AD. Come on, man. Now, one of the benefits is whenever you like get up here, if you can pre stack Guntus before they come for you, that's always a good thing. Ugh. Dirty. Come on! Who wants a piece of me? That guy doesn't. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, we're getting a little greedy. We're getting a little greedy. But now, we have the Blade of the Rune King. We're slowly, we're slowly cleaning it up. So now we have Blade and Ranking. Now this means that we can easily do Baron. Once you get double items, you can always easily do Baron. So we could just legit just port on Baron and do it right now. Without too much fear. My time to shine. Oh, I thought that was a ward. So we are going to use E on this. Oh, somebody's on the other side. Come on, team. Don't be wussies. Worth it, baby! Oh, dragon's up. Oh god, that wasn't worth it at all. Now I'm showing you guys what not to do. So my team's really intent on trying to end the game. I'm a bit different. I like to get my objectives. Because you can always lose a game. As you guys know, I do like to throw. I'm, I'm pretty good at throwing. So I know that there's a chance of losing this game. And rather than, like, drag it out and risk losing the four dragons and then a baron... I'm just gonna go do those. Right, look, look, we already had two people die and Talon's on his way to Dragon, right? So we're gonna kill this. We're not gonna E until the very end when Talon gets here. Okay, we're gonna use it now. Okay, cool, so we got the Dragon. <laughs> we got the Dragon, that's no big deal. All right, let's go back and buy our Tabbies and then let's uh, take a look at this Baron. They shouldn't be in it, I don't imagine they're in it. But here we go, we got ourselves some tabbies. Now the thing is, is like you'll look at my score and you'll be like, well Kalsip, you didn't really do anything. Even though I did, I have seven kills. But you didn't really do anything. But you gotta look at these. And don't forget, I got two Rift Heralds. 11 towers to zero towers. You think, you think, well, you know, KDA is all that matters, but it's not. I told you, when you get those early dragons, it really tells you how the game's gonna play out. Anytime Yi can get an early dragon, it's basically a free win. It's just like, he just excels so much when you get those early dragons. Whee! Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. I'm just gonna kill Garen because he's there. Okay, never mind. I killed him last. <laughs> I killed him last. GG, well played. All right. Well, that wasn't a bad ending to the game. Yeah, um, that basically just shows you the power of taking all those objectives. Hopefully, you guys learned a little bit, um, especially about what kind of team comps I enjoy to have. Right? Remember, engage top lane or support, and an AP wave clear mid lane. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I like Cled.
Sure, I like them all. My whole team did well. And there we go. We got 60 LP and gold too. But don't be fooled. Wow, I'm 1-4? Don't be fooled. We're in diamond too. Okay. These guys are all diamond too. So until next time, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And have a wonderful day, guys.